All right, what's good? Welcome to week four, day two of Cine 399 South Park in Society. I'm here at Goat's Beard Homestead chilling. I've been uh, down at one of my barns, my pole barn. Um, I inherited some uh, beehives, so I've been uh, ripping apart some uh, frames and taking out some old nasty foundation and replacing that stuff. So I got some time. So this summer I'm going to try to keep bees. Uh, hopefully I can find a swarm some here around the farm and whatever, but stuff smells good. I don't know. See what we can do out here. But uh, anyways, hope you're well. Hope you're good. Hope you did good on the exam uh, or did good enough. Um, but definitely, you know, come through to, you know, our happy hours Monday at five, you know, in chitty chat if you want about the test itself. Um, or hit me up if you have any questions. But yeah, today is a perfect time to talk about political philosophy and democracy. Uh, douches and turd sandwiches. Um, I can't believe we're already back into douche versus turd. Like, 2016 seems like it was just recently. <laughs> like, recently we're doing all this stuff, so... It's back. Um, douche v. Turd 2020. <sighs> Anyways, um, it's a good time to talk about it because maybe we've kind of like, it probably be one of the things that would be on like a, the forefront of our minds and discussion and it's kind of taken a little bit of a backseat, I think, um, to, you know, what, what's all going on in the, in the world right now where, you know, we're probably a little less focused, but who even knows? Like when the Democratic convention is going to be, what may happen to the election, like you don't know. I mean, so this shit's looking crazy um, right now in the political world. But it is, let's be clear, a giant fucking douche versus an incredibly smelly, nasty, orange, rotten turd sandwich. Make sure you vote or die, motherfucker. <laughs> Anyways, so kind of what I want to do today, you know, we're going to start talking about political philosophy. We're going to watch uh, two episodes. Um, one, of, one of my, my favorite episodes, uh, Douche, Douche and Turd, it is a friggin' classic. It's a bril I think it's a brilliant um, scatological and grotesque rip on celebrities, on dual party extremism, on the dual party system, on voting pressures, on um, loving the shit out of animals, okay? And then we're gonna also watch about last night. Hopefully you watched uh, Member Berries on your own, <laughs> which is brilliant. <laughs> pretty brilliant. I, I know the episode didn't get a lot of love. And then OGs, um, if you can watch that, it's from the same season, that whole season uh, I believe season 20, I believe, don't quote me on that, maybe 21, uh, the whole arc was all about the 2016 uh, elections. And OGs was actually supposed to be titled uh, The First Gentleman because Matt and Trey were so sure that Hillary was going to win and they had to drastically rewrite OGs, um, you know, to reflect uh, what happened. Um, but anyways, just some things to think about. And... I don't even, you know, it's so hard to answer this because I think this, you know, there's there's a book definition and, and then there's like a personal definition. But take a second and think about what does democracy mean to you? What what does it mean? It's a word we use pretty freely, uh, I think, without giving a lot of thought to it. You know, most of us are not, um, you know, politicians. Most of us haven't thought about politics too much you know we certainly haven't thought about political philosophy a great deal unless we're a philosophy major or poli sci major something like that which you may which you may be in which you'll probably be you know sunning me today uh with what we're talking about but you know i want i want us to just kind of delve into a little bit about how south park treats politics because i think it's very clear that you know, um, they're kind of in the middle, really. They hate the far left. They hate the far right. Um, 
and they're kind of just in the middle kind of laughing at, at everybody. And they think that both sides are extremists, that both sides are quite intolerant. What? How could be hippies be intolerant? You know, um, how could, you know, progressive Democrats be intolerant? Um, there's a possibility there, you know, that there's some intolerance towards certain groups of, of, of people, although claiming to be open-minded and about equity and, and all that stuff, which is something they, they try to point out in a lot of the South Park episodes. But just say, what is democracy? Well, at its core essence, it's a government that is for the people decided upon by the people and represents the people um, and, the, and the wants and needs of a society. Now, the unfortunate thing, in my opinion, the fortunate thing is that most democracies are actually democratic uh, republics. Democratic republics, you know, um, share two, two things. They share the core nature of a democracy, which is a government and policies decided upon by the people, and a republic where you have uh, officials that represent the wants, needs, desires of people and make those decisions uh, upon their behalf. So that kind of brings us to the question about what is a representative democracy versus a pure democracy. The United States, as well as most other democratic countries, are representative democracies where we elect people into office that then represent us in office and represent our wants, our needs, our desires, you know, as their constituents, and they make those decisions. They pass laws that they think reflect what we need. A pure democracy is where the people actually vote on policies, where people actually vote on the, the federal and national laws that get passed. They don't just trust some douche or turd um, to represent their interests. They actually get to vote and their vote counts. There's very few democracies um, in the world that have this type of democracy. Um, the main one that, you know, I, that comes to my mind, I think maybe one of the few or only ones, is Switzerland, okay, where the people don't just vote on someone to be in office representing their needs, but they actually vote on uh, the laws they want passed, they, on the tax laws, on, uh, 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 on a any sort of federal law uh, and regulation, they have um, a say in, which is very different than what we, have, what we have here. We have to trust these douches and turds to represent us um, in those spheres. And I would say that, you know, it's really hard to feel um, like that happens. <laughs> you know, there's very few politicians who I feel like I would kick it with, you know what I'm saying? Who, who, who I would play basketball with or have a beer with or have a chat with, you know, be homies with. And that would like decide and think about the world in a way like I do, which, which is fucked up. I don't want anybody thinking th in office, thinking, thinking about the world, the world, the way I do making decisions for other people. But what I'm saying is, you know, it's real hard, you know, cause like, like South Park kind of says, like, you know, the only people that make it high up in office are the people that can kind of suck up to stay and can tolerate that and be a part of that system long enough to get there. I mean, that's hard. Politics is hard. I mean, you think about one of the things about politics is like there's probably probably a bunch of you sitting right there at home would probably be fucking fantastic leaders, probably have great ideas. You're awesome people like you. You would probably be amazing in some form of office, but you're not gonna fucking do it. You're not gonna do that shit because it's fucking horrible. Like being a politician sucks and like having to kiss ass and make your way up and do all the things, it's fucking sucks. It takes a real sort of, I don't wanna say special person, but a real type of person, let's just say, to get there. So hopefully more homies can kind of get up the ranks and kind of figure it out.
and we'll see. Okay, so that's a little bit on, you know, what is democracy? What's a democratic republic? So again, like if you really want to think about it, you can check out the slide where democracy is government, you know, of the majority of the people. So our political freedoms, our civil liberties, all these things are, are you know, decided by the people. And this will contrast with like an oligarchy or, or, or a monarchy, right? But, you know, goddamn, you kind of feel like you're in those systems sometimes, you know? You feel like democracy is more of like a semantic thing. It's more of an idea. It's more of um, an ideal, right? Like, oh, uh, news is objective, you know? Well, that's not fucking true. That's an ideal. But you'll never be objective, right? Because it's biased because it's written by people or made by people, right? Um, but yeah, so, you know, defining, you know, democratic republic is the power, you know, from the power that you know, we empower these people to represent us, you know, and the government's run by these officials, right? And in a representative democracy, you know, we invest in these people. Like, like our vote, no matter how you feel when you just check a box um, and send it in an envelope or you stand in line and you vote or however you may do it, you know, um, we're, that's a vote of investing, like, our confidence in someone. It doesn't feel like it a lot of times. Because why? It's a fucking douche and a turd. And I'm not talking about just, like, federal, national, presidential elections. We could be talking about, like, your mayors and your judges and shit, who maybe you don't even fucking know anything about. You know, you get the ballot, and you're like, who's this? You know, I just write myself in for a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't know who the fucking judge is and put my name on it. You know, I don't know. Um, yeah. So, 